Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have a very interesting tri-compax chronograph that actually is made in Japan. This is the Soldat uh, Promessa. It's a very cool vintage styled racing chronograph. Uh, very interesting movement, my first experience with this movement. It's an automatic chronograph and it's pretty well done for the price point. We're looking at 1250 US dollars. This brand was actually started by a man named Jesse who's actually a watch enthusiast himself and he wanted to make a very high quality watch. He chose to make his watch in Japan um, due to the higher quality considered in Japan. You know, a lot of great watches come out of Japan. Most of the better Seiko watches come out of Japan. And this watch does have a Seiko automatic chronograph movement, so, you know, go figure. Anyway, let's see what's on my wrist today. Today I am wearing the Oceanica Seahorse. This is the super compressor. Uh, just a very cool watch, nice blue dial, uh, nice size too as well. Very short lug to lug, just a cool watch from a cool company, a smaller micro brand as well. Um, but let's get into the watch itself. I will get you a first look. This is the blue variation. There are a few different variations of this watch. It comes in a green color, this blue color, and it also does come in one other color. I will throw it up on the screen. Now, as you can see, it's a very nice, very well done watch. I was actually really impressed with the quality of this watch. Everything is really spot on. I didn't find any quality control issues or anything like that. And, you know, it goes to show that, you know, maybe making a watch in Japan is a better choice. The quality on this watch is really, really, really good. And I was quite surprised by that. I'm just that beautiful blue sunburst dial with those orange accents. Um, definitely reminds me of the 70s and 60s racing in the cockpits and such. And yeah, uh, from the rally cars. Let's uh, look at the packaging. It also comes in a really nice lacquer wood box. Let me just open this box right here, as you can see. Inside, you do get a manual. There is also a NATO strap option, if I didn't mention that. And there is the red dial that I was trying to think of. So it comes in red, blue, and green. Very cool colors. Um, obviously very racing inspired, those colors. And very kind of retro, uh, which is pretty cool and very in now. Um, also, it does come with the box. So it does come in this very nice piano lacquered box with a nice warranty card as well as you can see here. So you do get that nice two year warranty, which is always good to have. Uh, just very nice, very solid box. Great for storing the watch. Nice hinges on there as well. Definitely a very good quality box. One of the better boxes I've seen so far. As you see when you open the box, you can store your watch on this nice pad here. Clicks right in. Very nice has some nice heft to it as well. Now getting to some basic dimensions on this watch, obviously it's crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. It's pretty much brushed all around and I wouldn't have really wanted anything different from that. I think it really looks the part of the era that it comes from. It's housed in a 42 millimeter diameter circular case here. We have a case thickness of around 14 millimeters, which is pretty good for an automatic chronograph. And um, we have a lug to lug width of 50 millimeters which is also pretty good. And then we have a 20 millimeter lug width here. Uh, we do get a pull and push crown. We do get 50 meters of water resistance. This is not a diving chronograph. This is really not a watch to take in the water. This is more of a land watch. Well, if you happen to get it wet, you know, you're not really gonna do any damage there unless you submerge it in a pool or something. Anyway, uh, the watch itself does have a nice sapphire crystal, as you can see there. Very legible. If I get you in a little closer here, very, very legible dial. Nice blue sunburst on that blue colored dial there. We do get some nice accented uh, orange hands on these sub dials and the sleeping seconds hand. The date window is placed at the six o'clock position. Over here, as you can see, we do get your 30 minute counter for the chronograph. You're running 60 seconds on the right white sub dial. And then on the bottom, we do get uh, the 12 hours over there. So yeah, very nicely proportioned. Sold out logo is printed uh, right below the 12 o'clock. On the chaptering, we get a tachymeter, of course. A no racing watch is complete without a tachymeter. And if you take a look at these nice piston head style pushers here, um, they are very nice, very easy to click, very easy to grasp. And the finishing, let's take a look at the actual finishing on this case here. So as you can see, it has that nice kind of vintage design, nice drilled lug holes, very easy to swap out straps, uh, which I do appreciate. The actual bezel is slightly polished, as you can see here on the top portion. That is pretty much the only polished section of this watch, but the finishing is really, really, really good. Nice brushing here up and down, very smooth, no sharp edges or anything like that. And I really do appreciate a nice good brushed finish here. So yeah, the case finishing is really superb. And as you can see, it even does state made in Japan on the case back. As we can see here, Promessa made in Japan. 
Uh, their logo case back is screwed down and polished on the outer portion. Their logo is embossed here. Uh, yeah, it's very simple on the case back. I think that's just fine. If they did put an exhibition case back on this watch, I think it would be just a little bit too thick. That's just my opinion though. I'm happy they did go with a solid screw down case back. Well, what's powering this actual watch? The Seiko any, any 88 automatic chronograph movement. Um, definitely a competitor to the Valjoux 7750. Um, a very accurate one at that. Uh, this exact model is keeping plus four seconds a day. So definitely within some cost certification there, even though it's not certified, um, but keeping great time. So I was really impressed by that. You get hacking, you get hand winding, you get really nice actuation of these pushers here. The movement does beat at four hertz or 28,800 beats per hour. Just like the Valjoux 7750, you're getting a 45 hour power reserve, a whopping 34 joules, and it's a great movement. I've never experienced this movement before. It's uh, produced by Seiko, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and wind the crown here. The watch is already running, but very smooth winding, good grip on this crown here. As you can see, the watch is running already. Start the chronograph with one push. You get that nice smooth sweep with that orange tinted hand. You can stop it and reset it. Very nice, feels very good on the hand, so I have no issue with this movement. I think it's a movement that more brands should really be looking into. These movements are not cheap either. I did look one of these movements up, and they are about 430 US dollars to buy just one of them, so obviously you know, they're pretty pretty much identical and almost in price to the Valjoux 7750, which is the Swiss-made competitor automatic chronograph movement, which is widely used in the industry. However, I have seen a couple other brands using the NE88 produced by Seiko, but not many. I think many more brands really should be using this movement. It's a really good movement. Now I'm gonna pull the crown out one position. We get our quick set date. As you can see there, 31, 31, one, there we go. In your final position, you can hack the movement and set the time. Nice long hands here, very easy to read the time. There is a little bit of loom on this watch as well. The hands are loomed and the markers going around, the applied markers right here for the hours. Um, obviously this is not gonna be a loom monster, it's not that kind of watch, but I think uh, the loom is you know okay to read the time at night. Now heading to the strap here, we get a racing style strap here, which is 20 millimeters, genuine handmade leather with the perforated holes here. Definitely a good length. I really like that they did put a custom buckle on here, which is actually really nice. You get two safety keepers here, up and down stitching in orange. And the buckle itself is actually really nice, signed sold out right on the back of the buckle. And just a very nice package. It's uh, definitely nice and soft. Uh, feels of decent quality. On the back it's a brownish color. But yeah, it definitely looks uh, pretty good and snazzy. Uh, definitely a great everyday wear. Now let's see what it looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist. There she is on my 6.75 inch wrist. And as you can see, definitely appears a bit bigger from the top, but you know, a cross lug plug at 50, definitely very wearable for my wrist as you look at, down on it there. Probably not one you can slip under the cuff, but this is not really a dress watch. This is more of a sporty everyday watch, I would say. Um, something that can be worn casually. I guess you can wear it with a shirt if you really, really want it to, um, but probably not something you should. Definitely a very sporty chronograph racing style watch here. Uh, but yeah, definitely very comfortable. You know, it does have some nice weight to it, but it's not overly heavy. So there you have it, guys. This is the Soldat Promessa, um, a new brand, an emerging brand, I should say, and this is their first release. I think they did a stellar job on this release. Once you have this thing in hand, uh, you realize it's really good quality. I mean, down to the finishing, the movement. I love the Seiko any uh, any 88 chronograph. I think that's a great movement. It's been functioning great for me. And yeah, nothing really bad to say about this watch. I mean, obviously if you like smaller watches, like really small watches, like 36, 37, 38 millimeters, maybe this is not gonna be for you. But for most of us with wrist sizes of six and a half inches and up, I think you should be good. It should fit you just fine. Um, very legible dial, very great movement, sapphire crystal, beautiful sunburst blue dial there. And you also have a couple other options, the green and the red. I think it's a pretty cool brand. It's a brand produced by a watch enthusiast himself. So obviously you can tell it's a very nice looking watch. It's not uh, an odd micro brand watch, like I would say. And I think they did a pretty good job. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. You can definitely leave me a comment, throw the video a like, hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already, if you enjoy watch content like this. I will see you guys on the next video. Also, I will drop a link to their website down in the description below so you can check them out after this video. 
Thanks so much for tuning in once again. I'll see you real soon. Bye.